Welcome back to Paper Sorcerer, Logan Kane here, and this is episode 39. We're going to take on the blo blo the boss of us. Whoa. You see what I see there? The chest is on the left side. That's never happened before. I'm sure it's irrelevant. Hmm. I thought the chain was going through the wall. Anyway, let's get this boss on. Stop there. S oh, that's right. It's a chick. Stop there, sorcerer. Sorry, I can't go on. Get out of my sight, you kadar. What would you have me do? Just turn around and do as you please elsewhere. I only stop you from going through this door. I'm afraid I can't comply. That's unfortunate. A single? That seems like a really... really brave to fight me by yourself. There's four of us and one of you. I know you're a mage, and you can probably do spectacular amounts of damage to me. Um, I'm still going to start with an ice storm. That damage over time is totally worth losing almost everything I have. I'm going to do a blood rage. Cultus is going to pump up our strength. Some divine divine power. I haven't tried divine armor yet. I forgot I had that. Maybe I'll see if I can get that going next time. No, oh, look at you. You're bleeding already. Your magic shield isn't going to stop the bleeding. Might stop the freezing, though. I'd be really sad if you don't get frozen. Okay, cool. Little bit of a strength boost by the Minotaur from the Minotaur. A strength boost from the cultist. Troll's going to go ahead and try for a poison. The Minotaur... Well, what else would I... Uh, it's kind of silly not to just do a brutal strike. And, of course, try to burn her. Although, would it be better to do Circle of Power? Eh, what the hell, I'll do fire. Where's Scorch? Let's try and set her on fire. The cultist is going to try and do the defense one. Divine Armor. Sounds interesting. Come on, baby, get poisoned. Yeah. Are you poisoned? No, that was just... I thought she got poisoned. She didn't. That's sad. Arcane Storm. That sounds incredibly painful. And it is. So we'll drop a Scorch on you, and hopefully you catch on fire. Yep, you're on fire and on frozen. Ooh, 21 max defense. That's not too bad. Not not brilliant, but not bad. What am I at with my Minotaur? Can I do another Brutal Strike? I have to wait three turns to Brutal Strike again. That's just awful. I could do a... R All of... You know, actually, yeah, sickle to do that. Protect us from fire and shit. Do some soul steal, because what else am I gonna do? And the cultist is the the cultist. He's gonna no, he's just gonna attack. I mean, I want to heal up, but at the same time, I don't think she's gonna be able to get me. I don't expect to have any real problems with her, but I still have the issue. What was that? What did I cast on her? Oh, that's right. Oh, God. A fucking party sleep. Ah, shit. Well, the occultist has woken up. I should hope. And I don't know if he can wake people up. Would a physical element be sleep? Let's try that. We'll try and... We'll try and get the sorcerer. Cast your magic shield, I don't care. I, I just want to wake up my friends. I guess sleep is not a physical ailment. Okay. Well. Revive certainly isn't. They're not dead. I can raise somebody from the dead, but I can't wake them up. Yes. That's right. I can revive someone from death. But I cannot wake that same person up if they're just asleep. And apparently my Minotaur doesn't wake up if he gets attacked. That's spiffy. So this could turn into a long fight. And unexpectedly so. Do a quick heal on the Minotaur, I guess. Uh, what else am I going to do? Alright, Sorcerer's awake. Now you're fucked. Oh wow, the quick heal is weaker than I even expected it to be. Why is she... What's with the smoky look? I don't even know what that is. 
Oh, my guys are asleep. That's asleep. Okay. I now understand what that is. I've been wondering for a while. What can I do? What can I do? I can go for a poison. Let's go for a poison. Because even if I'm asleep, poison still works. Alright, heal up the Minotaurs. Wake my Minotaur up. Alright, poison hit. Next up is Scorch. My troll's awake. That is absolutely fantastic. Let's do an overdrive. No, no, no. More important than overdrive is bloodbath. Let's stack on the dots. Alright, she's got poison. Let's do a scorch. Set her on fire. My Minotaur woke up. Thank you, Minotaur. Your timing is impeccable. Too bad all your buffs are gone. Anyway. Anyway. Why do I have so much energy with my cultist? Or a cultist. Not darkest dungeon. Anyway, let's do... Divine power? Divine power, yes. That's what I want. No! I just woke up. I just woke up. I guess damage over time is what this battle's all about. And she's put... Wow, 123 damage from poison. So she's certainly susceptible to it. I get hit by a, a frickin' lightning bolt and I don't wake up. Well, I guess we're just gonna sit here while my guys are asleep. <laughs> Alright, foreign gems, cat agility, whatever. Whatever, 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 whatever! Whatever. Alright. It feels like a trap because it's on the wrong side. My, how, how unexpected, my magic is, is no match. Staring at her hands, she withers away. Wow. That was actually a very... Very good writing there. Eh, leather armor of the cat. Ooh, leather armor of the cat. I actually envisioned... Like, I don't know. Wizard of Oz, maybe? I'm melting, etc. Oh, I already had that? Now I'm confused. I had elven leather armor of the cat already. Yes. Alright, alright, alright. That's just another one. Now are we going to tremble to and fro? We haven't had a, a follow-up attack in a while. Yep. 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 The seventh binding is broken. The seventh binding has been broken. Only two more left. No, oh, I guess there's two more. I've been told a group of demon summoners make their home on Block 9. Show them the true power of summoning. The overseer of Block 9 is Ben and the warrior. He's the leader of the heroes who put you away. I've heard he can cleave a boulder in two with his bare hands. Oh, I thought I got all four of them already. I guess I didn't get him yet. You notice the buildings in town are covered in a lacy webwork of paper. Wondering what holiday theme would warrant such decoration, you move closer to a patch. Only to discover the paper is a cutout into the letters spelling out? New items. Drop now. Unbelievable prices. Limited time only. The shop zombie stumbles by, covering what you presume are paper cuts. Ugh. Well, yep, that's it for episode 39. Another quick boss battle. Hopefully the next one will be a bit more challenging. Anyway, thank you for watching. Enjoy.